for a while now we've been talking about uh, normal compound curves and normal compound curves are two or more uh, curves that are joined together and they each have a specific radius right so there are two or more curves that have different radii um, reverse compound curves on the other hand uh, can be two or more curves that have the same radius or the same radii um, or they can have different radii and what's special about these curves is that uh, the first curve is uh, bending in one direction and there's a point here where the second curve or the following curve bends in a different direction Okay, and this point where uh, there's a change in direction is called the PRC and the PRC stands for uh, point of reverse curvature right this is where the curves change in direction uh, these types of curves are sometimes called s shape curves uh, because they resemble the shape of the letter s and um, they're mainly used to transition uh, around obstacles and these are uh, these kinds of curves are uh, pretty common in um, residential areas or uh, hills and mountains, primarily hills and mountains, because you want some type of a path uh, to go through the mountain uh, without having to do too much earthwork or earth moving, right? And um, so if we start uh, studying these curves, uh, what I mainly want to talk about in this video is just some of the basic terminology for these curves. Um, we already covered one point of reverse curvature, which is the point at which the curve changes in direction, right? So if we start uh, looking at more of the geometric side of these curves, uh, we'll notice some pretty cool things. Uh, the first one is that uh, if we drew out a line that was tangent to this point, so tangent to the first curve and the second curve, that would look something like that, right? Now, if I said this is curve one and it has uh, radius 1 and this is curve 2 and this has a radius 2 and remember uh, these, radi these radii uh, can be the same value or a different value and um, so this is curve 1 with radius 1 this is curve 2 with radius 2 this would be your BC1 or beginning of curve 1 and you go along this path and this would be EC1 or end of curve 1 but at this special point it's um, it's also the BC2, right? The beginning of curve 2. And then this would be EC2. Now, if we study uh, one curve at a time, uh, we'll actually notice something uh, pretty special when we look at the entire picture. So, if I drew a tangent line to uh, BC1, which is right here, uh, we notice that this creates a PI, a PI. 1, which is the point of intersection of curve 1. Now, if I drew a tangent to EC2, or the end of curve for curve number 2, if I drew a tangent line to that, it looks something like this, and we'd, we'd have this um, PI2, right, point of intersection 2. It's where the two tangents for one curve intersect. Mm -hmm. So, if we uh, let's let's try to find the origin of both of these curves. If I drew a perpendicular line to this tangent here, or at BC1, I'd have a line that looks something like that. And if I drew a tangent line, uh, or I'm sorry, a perpendicular line to EC1, uh, or BC2, right, beginning of curve 2 or end of curve 1, I'd have a line that looks something like that. Now, What's special about this curve is that this line that I just drew is perpendicular to this uh, initial line we drew, right? It's also um, a line that I can draw perpendicular and it will perpendicular to this line on the other curve. And notice that this line here, or the line from this point to this point, is the same line from this point to this point. So the, um, I guess you could call if you were looking at this from a bird's eye view and you magically saw a coordinate system, you can say that this line has the same uh, slope, right, in essence. Now, if we uh, drew a perpendicular line from this tangent 
we would find uh, the origin point here. So right now we just found two origin points, right? We found origin one, origin two. These are the uh, center of uh, this this arc, right? This arc here, this arc here, the circular arc. Um, and uh, we know from our uh, horizontal curve discussion that this is delta one, which is the interior angle for curve one. This is delta two, and that's the interior angle for curve number two. Um, let's see, pi. Actually, I, I think this is about it. So, uh, the the, I guess the main concept I wanted you guys to grasp is that the line that we drew perpendicular from curve one, uh, you can extend that on the same. Uh, same line here and you'll notice that uh, origin 2 and origin 1 are on the same line. And that's kind of cool. So in the next video we'll, we'll go a little bit more in depth into the geometry and then the following video uh, we'll do a, an example to get uh, familiar with the different uh, parameters of reverse compound curves.